So you've finally been able to purchase that DVD that you've always wanted. And it's a movie that you like so much that you'd like to have the option of taking it with you wherever you go. So in this video I'm going to show you how to convert a DVD movie to portable devices. To get started, the first program that we're going to need is called DVD Fab. And uh, this is normally payware, but they do have a freeware option. So if you do a Google search for it and click on the free stuff option, it will take you to their page where you can download the freeware version of their program. And while this is a limited uh, version, it doesn't have all the options, uh, it, it will be able to do exactly what we need it to do, which is just rip the DVD to our computer. So once you have it downloaded, go ahead and install it and install all the options that go with it and then click uh, finish and it should restart your computer. And then you'll see a DVD fab option on your desktop. Just double click on that and click start DVD fab HD decryptor. And then put your DVD in and it should start reading it. And uh, then choose where you want to save it to. I'm just going to save it to my desktop. And you have the option on the left to either do the full disc or just the main movie. I'm doing the full disc so I just click start and uh, whenever it's through you can close out of the program and, the, and we'll move on to the next step which requires a program called Handbrake. So just do a Google search for Handbrake and this is a free program. It's available for Mac, Linux, and Windows so choose your operating system. And what this does is it converts uh, DVDs or DVD files to um, uh, be able to play on portable devices such as iPods or PSPs. So the first thing you want to do is click on source and choose where your DVD is located. I'm going to choose the Casino Royale folder and uh, wait for it to load and under title make sure you have the title that has the longest time frame because that's the general movie. And then uh, choose where you want to save it and how you want to save it and then in the right hand menu choose what you're trying to convert it to. I just chose iPod because I'm going to convert this to my iPod. And then click start. Now if you have Windows Vista you may have to run this as administrator before it actually works. So that's just a tip for Vista users if you have problems. And then when it's through you should see the movie on your desktop and the next thing you have to do is just transfer it to your portable device. If you have an iPod, uh, just open up iTunes and um, add the movie to your library and it should show up under movies and then click on your iPod device and go to the movies tab and you can either do all or do selected movies and just check the movie that you want to transfer and click apply and it should start transferring it. Alright, well that's it for this tutorial. For more go to tinkernut.com.